Hey, Sunday, 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 ah, Sunday, Sunday. Hi here, Fins here. I'm back for another one of my independent reviews, giving my review of all 37 entries for this year's Eurovision 2024 that will take place in Malmo, Sweden. Next up, I'm talking about Portugal. Portugal, it's finally going to Sweden, may I point out. They always <laughs> withdraw when Sweden hosting. <laughs> I just wanted to make point that out. Portugal is competing um, <laughs> when Sweden's hosting. Thank you, Portugal. Um, because 2000, they were like, no, 2013, no, 2016, no, <laughs> but we're here and we've got Portugal, that's great. This year they are sending the artist Alonda with the song Grito, and yes, it's a beautiful Portuguese ballad sung entirely in Portuguese, and yes, starting the song off a cappella is not easy to do, so I give full credit to Alonda starting the song off a cappella and it gradually builds, it builds into this big vocal. Um, it's beautiful. I think this is Portugal bringing us Portugal at the end of the day. Keeping it in 100% Portuguese is what I like. Giving us Portuguese sounds, that's what I like. And yes, I think this is really, really good for Portugal. Um, and the dancers in the background, you know, doing a little bit of, bit of this and a bit of that, um, you know, you know, I, I, you sometimes interpret dancers can be distracting, but I think this helps build the staging and the song, um, and it's very artistic. Portugal is bringing art this year, I think it's very clear to say that. Um, no, I think this is well executed, and I like they're all white, because with like Serbia, Teodora is all in black and she kind of fades in the black background but it's the kind of but Portugal it's a quite a dark song but she's bright and white um, she stands out she doesn't fade in the background so that's that's good um, yeah I mean this song really really builds really nicely um, I just wonder why it's so low in the odds though why is it so low in the odds? Um, because uh, the bookies have it really, really low um, to win, and it doesn't even—they don't even have it down as a qualifier either. So yeah. No. I mean Portugal. Well, in all fairness, Portugal doesn't have many friends in the semi-final. Let's say they don't have France, they don't have Spain, they don't have Switzerland. So, uh, yeah, I, I can understand, um, but I hope the song is good enough for it to go through. And it has got a plimp spot in the running order in the semis. They've second to last, last ballad of the evening. Yeah, I, I feel like this deserves to go through. Portugal doesn't have many neighbours in their semi-finals, so um, maybe it might struggle to go through. As you all remember last year, Burning Daylight from the Netherlands last year performed second to last and they only got seven points in their semi-final so yeah say it's a plinth spot in that but sometimes you can fail to qualify um but this deserves to go through I think the song alone deserves to go through um I think it's a good enough song on its own merit for it to go through in my case so um i wouldn't be shocked if it does miss out but i feel like it deserves to go through um and it's near the end of the show so i think it can go through um i think i hopefully people will connect to this i i really hope it doesn't go under the radar in the semis a score out of 10 i'm giving it a 6.5 Maybe not the strongest ballad of the year, maybe it's a bit of a slow burn at a start, 
maybe you need a few listens to properly get into it, but Alonda's vocals, the a cappella beginning and the a cappella kind of ending, really makes this song unique. And yes, I like the Portuguese-ness in it. And yes, I hope it does well in any case. What do you think of the entry from Portugal this year? Comment down below in the comments below, like and subscribe to this video, and I'll be back for another con video very soon. It's saying goodbye, people, goodbye. And oh, I'll say, in the eye, in the eye, in the eye.